Hello, boys and girls. How are you doing today? Are you feeling kind inside like kind Kelly? So our today, today's lesson is lesson K, um, learning about kindness. And my friend here, the Pelican, is very kind. You can see he has a big beak and he's always taking care of his little babies. And so what he does is he flies around, like I know so many of you have seen a Pelican, and when he reaches down into the water to catch a fish, he fills up his beak here with water. And in that beak, what I read is there can be up to three gallons of water. He can hold three gallons of water. And when he fishes, he usually catches a little fish as he's dipping down and he carries it back to take care of his little baby. So he is always, or she, he or she is always being kind and taking care of the babies. And there are two types of pelicans that we have here in Florida. There's the white pelican and the brown pelican. And um, you can see them often at the beach and the babies are called chicks. So they, they catch the fish and they take them back to their chicks. All right, little pelican's gonna sit here as we continue to do some breathing and stretching. So to be kind, you really need to have kind hands. So everybody show me their hands, okay? And you need to have kind feet. Everybody show me their feet. And you also wanna have kind words. So let's talk about our hands and our arms here first. So put your arms out in a straight line like this, everybody. And you can bend your arms at their elbows, can't you? So you have two long bones and they bend at the elbows. So let's do a little breathing and, by, and bend our elbows as well. Spread your fingers, your kind fingers out. So breathe in really deep here, breathe in. On the exhale, just see if you can touch your shoulders. Breathe in, exhale, touch your shoulders. Okay, let's do the same um, with our legs. So our legs also can bend just like our elbows. So this bending part is called your knee, isn't it? All right, so we're going to see if we can touch our elbow to our knee. So let's, let's keep our arms out like this, like a cactus. Breathe in and just touch one of your knees. Exhale, breathe in, lift. And again, exhale, touch your knee. Breathe in, lift. Exhale, touch your, touch your knee. Okay, good, let's go to the other side. Okay, elbows out. All right, I see you, spread your fingers. Here we go, breathe in. On the exhale, touch your knee. Breathe in, touch your knee. Breathe in, touch your knee. Okay, good, now we're gonna make it a lot harder. Are you ready? Okay, so spread your feet apart. I know your arms are getting tired, right, from holding them out like this. It's your muscles in your arms. All right, now we're gonna try to touch our opposite knee. So I want everybody to just kind of wave to me. Go ahead and shake your arms out, roll your shoulders. Okay, so we're going to take our right arm, or whatever arm, and you're going to cross it over and touch your opposite knee and then lift it back up. Let's try that. So you're gonna use the, everybody shake this leg and shake this arm. So they're opposites. And we're gonna to try to touch them. You ready? Don't, okay, breathe in. Exhale, elbow to knee. Breathe in. Exhale, elbow to knee, opposite. Good. Breathe in. Elbow to knee. Good. Okay, back out. Okay, let's go the opposite side. First of all, put your arms up. So we're gonna to be touching this knee. Go ahead and shake this leg. And this hand, opposite, we'll be crossing the middle of our body, which really wakes our brain up. It's sometimes hard to cross the middle, okay? So let's cactus our arms, spread your fingers. We're practicing kind fingers too. And now we're gonna touch our knee and think about having kind feet as well. All right, so here we go. Breathe in, exhale, elbow to knee. Move slow, breathe in. I know you wanna go fast, but move slow. Exhale, elbow to knee. Breathe in. Exhale, elbow to knee. Okay. Now are you ready to go a little bit harder? 
Okay, we're gonna switch. We're gonna do this arm to this knee, and then we're gonna switch. We're gonna start really slow, so stay with me. Okay, we're gonna start with this elbow. Ready, breathe in. Opposite knee, breathe out. Move slow, breathe in. This elbow, breathe out. Breathe in, cross over. Breathe in, lift your knee up higher, out. Big inhale up and cross. Big inhale up and cross. Okay, roll your shoulders, bring your hands behind you, lift your fingers. Let's take one big breath together. Ready, breathe in and empty. Okay, back up here. We're gonna go a little bit faster. Ready, breathe in. Cross over, breathe out. Breathe in, cross over. Let's go faster, breathe in. Go, see if you can go. Keep crossing the midline. Faster, faster, faster. Maybe you can hop. Can you add a skip? You can even skip around your room. Okay, awesome. Roll your shoulders back and have a seat with Mrs. Frizzy. Okay, so today we learned about pelicans. They can hold three gallons, and if you don't know what a gallon is, look in your refrigerator for a gallon of milk. And they are very caring for their little chicks. They take care of them. So I ask you, in your head, I want you to say, I have kind hands, I have kind feet, and I have kind words. I'm gonna ask you a couple questions. You can either turn and talk, or you can write about it, draw about it, all right, how does your family and friends show kindness to you? What do they do with their hands or their feet to show kindness or their words? Okay, how can you show kindness to your family? What can you do to show kindness towards your family? And the last thing I want you to think about, this is an important one, because you need to practice this. What are kind words. What does it sound like? Because I know inside your head you say, I'm kind, but what is, if I was to come in your house or your room, what would I hear? Here's some things that kind Kelly said. She, uh, she had listening ears, so you could just see that she listened. She had helping hands. She pitched in. She was always cleaning up. She had mannerly words, like she said. Things like, please, thank you, you go first. Are you okay? Okay, I'm glad you're my friend. You could hear all these kind words. And she had kind eyes. They twinkled when she smiled. And she always had polite feet. She would step aside from others. If they were running to be first, she would often just step aside and have kind feet. All right, boys and girls. I hope you have an amazing start to your day by breathing and stretching. The choice is 100% yours. Make it a good one.